Hello YouTube, it's Marcus, and welcome back to the channel. We've heard of some news of the new Series 4 Cato Powerstorm being available in select retail stores and as well as Amazon. We were able to review the Giants in our previous video, but today we actually got our hands on the Series 4 Starter Pack, the legendary Punch Tech variant, featuring uh, what I like to call E-Honda from Street Fighter 2. But more importantly, we have an unmasked version of Hyperlock, looking very much like the Green Goblin. So, we do have other figures as well, looking like a stone version of Phantomu. We'll investigate what that emblem is, but also a, a training dummy uh, looking like a Miss Slither in a translucent green form. Previously, she had a stone variant, just like, just like this figure, but we get a new training dummy. We'll have to test it out. And let's take a look at the box art. We have a sumo wrestler that's a punching uh, variant. It looks like he has a, like a thousand hand slap. That was E Honda's uh, special move by rapidly tapping uh, punch buttons. And the box art does show off his features. And uh, take a look. Exclusive joystick. We haven't seen a, uh, a joystick controller in a lightning form, uh, but these are the new additions as well. So. Let's take a look at what this uh, starter pack uh, has in store, and let's check a look at those stats. Ready, fight, split strike. Now that we've had these unpacked, let's take a look first at the new training dummy. Looks like a uh, translucent green uh, Miss Slither. Uh, arms don't move, but it looks like it split strikes right down the middle. Something that we will be seeing in series four with the super splitters. Does look like a really good mold, and I do like the color. Let's actually test it out with our very own Bruce Lee on the new lightning controller, both with HP and damage counters. Still can't believe how cool this guy is. Just look at him. So let's see how this split strikes. Here we go. One, two. Oh, works out very well. So now let's get on with the characters that came with this starting set featuring first headstone headstone looks like a, a variant of uh phantomu but without the punching arm and it does look like he, uh, he has more cybernetic type of armor with a lot of uh uh hard geometry cues almost like a gundam i wonder if this is actually the same mold as a recharge the one that looks like optimus prime this is a Earth-based warrior, epic version, with a stat split of 5 HP and 4 damage. Cost of 4, wow, plus 3 damage against shadow figures. This becomes an 8-4. Definitely use this if you're fighting up against any shadow figures. Also gets a bonus against water damage, and when he split strikes, he gives your next Akato fighter that's lightning base an extra 1 damage. Very cool. And of course we have Fire Suit Hyperlock. We call this guy the Green Goblin. And it does have the same armor as his previous version of Series 1 and maybe Series 2. But maybe like a radioactive symbol. Very cool looking figure. Fire base, of course, and looks like a wow, is it like a bow and arrow type of shot. Very cool. I wonder how it works. Maybe this pivots and becomes a split strike piston. Fire-based warrior with a stat split of 7-4, a cost of, I think, 6, does get extra shielding against shadow figures and water as well, and plus 2 HP for our Earth-type figures. Maybe it would be really good to pair up with this guy. Maybe start with Fire Suit Hyperlock first, and then go into Headstone. And if you're fighting against a shadow-type figure, this guy will become a 8-6 figure very powerful and the unique figure of this lineup is one ton i'll continue moving forward and going with uh, e honda for this guy he's got a very long reach take a look at that and you get to see all the pivoting action uh since this uh extension is only in the palm of the person's hand instead of surrounding it like the other punchers but very powerful look at the little lightning scars or tears on his eyes cost of six eight dam uh, hp and four damage uh one damage against light and two damage against earth and an extra heart 
or health for uh, fire type allies uh, for the elemental boost. So that's what it looks like and is legendary as well. So we're gonna take the original battle arena and pit two fighters against each other, see how they do. We'll go with one ton and of course, fire suit hyperlock. See how they perform. First, let's see, actually see the piston in action. And it retracts as well, like a little crossbow. There we go. Ready, fight, split strike. <laughs> and look at that. This whole thing is like a shield. This will be really difficult to attack. You'll have to time it so that the punch lands before the swing arm of Hyperlock gets engaged. And you can see the height of this thousand hand slap does too. Not sure if it's a wobble or if it's loose or intentional, but it does have a lot of play as far as height goes. Check that out. Ooh, this piston arm is quite strong. Let's see it in action. Put them into a ready position. One, two, ooh, very nice. Again, take a look at the amount of play this has as far as being able to hit high and low. It's very quite variable, so be careful when you examine your one ton or e Honda character to see if there's a lot of play and how useful he is as a character. Well, you saw it here. The new Akedo Powerstorm Series Form Starter Pack punching variant with one ton e Honda and fire suit hyperlock green goblin. Uh, not currently available in the stores. I've not seen them in retails, but they are currently available on Amazon. Go ahead and then shop around and, and get yours uh, as soon as possible because these are definitely going to run out before they hit stores. Uh, leave a comment below. Which Series 4 characters are you most excited about? And make sure to uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more future videos, especially with the new Series 4 coming out soon. Remember, stay true to yourselves and keep hunting down those Akados. I'll see you next time.